Right, I put some food in there. As you can see, showed interest. There is a bit of silver foil there. If you notice, that came off the blood worms. I don't think it's that bothered by my presence anymore. But um, it's still skittish, as you can see. So it grabbed that and then took it to safety. People say, why, why don't you put a friend in there with it? Because it'll kill it. Flower horns don't fuck with any other fish. You can sometimes get away with a male and a female, but even then, they sometimes kill their mate. So they're better off kept as a singular in a tank. I mean, you could put like a plek in there, I guess, for some kind of cave where it's got protection. But uh, as things stand now, he'll be on there, in there on his own. Yeah. If you remember the last flower horn, whenever I went near the tank, it was having a go at me. If I put my hand in there to clean the tank, it was having a go at me, but not this one. This one's way skittish. The other one was all cocky, you know. Yes, grabbed its food. Now it's hibernating. But yeah, it's in the kitchen. Gives you something to look at when you're cooking. I will take, I will, oh shit, do I have to? I was just trying to work out, I don't have to put treatment in the, in the Oscar tank because I finished the, the three days. So I'll take a look at the albino in a minute. It's probably too soon to see any improvements, but you know, I can see it if I turn around there, swimming about and stuff, anyway.